Dan Bilzerian repeatedly conflates Judaism with Zionism on TV. Yeah, I've never done that and I will never do that. Okay. And I get annoyed when liberals do that as a defensive posture too. It's like, it's, it's liberals or, or woke people that want to defend Israel handshaking with like anti-Israel anti-Semites. You know what I mean? Quote unquote liberals? No, I'm yeah, liberals do that shit all the time. What do you think Jake Tapper's fucking doing every time? He's like, oh, a lot of people are substituting um Zionists with Jew to be anti-Semitic towards Jews. It's like, no, man, like this is a political ideology. Okay. I'm very careful with the language that I use to make sure that there is not even a single instance where people can even marginally assume that I mean all Jews. Like, I made my stance very fucking clear. It's gross. Example of a TikTok of him getting over 100k likes. Yeah, I just don't really give a shit. Yeah, I think I saw this because he was talking about, like, even if rapes were would have happened, I think he said something along the lines of, like, the fuck do you expect is going to happen? I don't know if it happened or not, but even if it did, like, you know, you've been, uh, it, when you're killing these people for years and years and years, it's going to happen. Like, and, and like the clip, this part gets clipped out and then people are like, oh, wow. Like this guy, you know, beheaded people. This guy just seems really all right. And then like right after the part where he clipped out, he's like, and it's good that it happened to the Jews. And you're like, come on, dude. Yeah, here, Dan Cohen has a great take on this. I saw this earlier. Piers Morgan and Dan Bilzerian represent two sides of the Zionist deception. Morgan promotes debunked Zionist propaganda. He still insists mass rape took place on October 7 to justify the Gaza genocide and claims to defend Jews from anti-Semitism. Bilzerian, best known for promoting degeneracy of the young men, has suddenly found the light, discovered the Palestinian cause, and decided that Hitler was right about Jews. He even found some quotes from the Talmud, though he had no idea what the Talmud is and believes it's a guidebook for the Gaza genocide. Yeah, dude. The Jews have uh, both mind control powers and also simultaneously can see the future where they were like, one day, <laughs> one day we're going to have uh, Israel and then and then we're we're just going to do like a slow burn genocide for 75 fucking years. And it's all in the Talmud. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Be fucking serious for once in your goddamn lives. Okay. Both of them accept the same fundamental false premise that Jews equals Zionism uh, slash Israel. As long as you're operating within the boundaries they present, you'll never challenge Zionism. There's a reason you see degenerate propagandists like these two in mass media, and you'll never see anyone who can accurately define Zionism and its relationship to Judaism. Yeah. Anybody, anybody that fucking starts chirping about the Talmud that's not like in rabbinical school or some shit, like it's, I question them. Okay. It's just like, why do you know that? <laughs> why do you know anything about this? You saw a couple fucking snippets and you misunderstood the purpose of what it is. And now you're just making it everybody else's problem and you're using it as a justification to be uh, anti Semitic as fuck. So, yeah, I think, you know, there is a lot of fucking anti-Semitism popping off on the timeline. And every motherfucker named Dan insane. Yeah. You're wrong, dude. The Talmud has supremacy ideologies. Conservatives use the Bible to do evil shit in America. What's the difference between? Dude, it is not even a fucking religious text that like people follow to the T. What are you talking about? It's not. It's supposed to be like, isn't the reception of the... Oh my God. See, this is what I mean. This is what I fucking mean. Shut up. It's not. It's not the same as the Bible and people don't even fucking follow the Bible anyway. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> it's different rabbis interpreting the Torah.
Yo, Hassan, I want to say I appreciate you taking my joke yesterday in stride. I am indeed a black chatter, and as such, I'm formally requesting you do a durag gym stream with Kai Sinat while he's in LA. I think it would do a lot for you to convert Kai and engender a new era of class consciousness and revolutionary sentiment among our black youth. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Kai Sinat, who has a Nike and McDonald's sponsorship, is going to engender a new era of class consciousness and revolutionary sentiment. <laughs> Black chatter for sure? No, I know, I know that they're a black chatter. That's, but they're still fucking memeing. Is there beef? No, there's no beef. I like Kai. I think he's a great entertainer. I don't think he's a uh, that big uh, of a fan of me, but I don't really give a shit. Not many people are. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kai Sinan is actually doing a stream next month with Nepalese Maoists. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same. It's the same as people being like, it's the same as people talking about the hadiths in the Quran, you know? Like, acting like this is a, a, a fucking moral rudder that guides people. It's just dumb shit. Like, Israel has nothing to do with Judaism. And when you fucking falsely conflate Judaism with Zionism, you're, you're doing the same fucking shit that Nazis are doing. And Nazis are doing the same fucking shit that pro-Israel people are doing. That's it. It's dumb as fuck. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta do a, a podcast. Me and Will, baby. Beer and Malding is back. Stein. Yeah, I found this secret ancient text that explains why the U.S. supports this European settler colonial project in an incredibly resource-rich region that they want to control, that they have machinations for. I promise you, it has nothing to do with, like, uh, resource extraction it has nothing to do with resource extraction. I promise. Please look at this ancient text, dude. It it tells you everything, okay? And then they'll package that up with like eight fucking Motorola Razor flip phone filmed videos of like Kahana's talking about how fucking Goyim are, are cattle or whatever. And they're like, oh, see? See, they all believe this. It's like, no, dog. That's insane. You're an insane person. You're an insane anti-Semite. Shut the fuck up. I know, I know all the Nazi bait. I've fucking seen all the Nazi bait, okay? Dumbass motherfuckers. You know what? I was going to do the old outro, so I'm going to do that right now. What a fucking lie.